How you guys doing today? It's Dale from MD MD Reviews, and today I'm going to be doing a follow up review of the Nama J2 Cold Press Juicer. Let's get to it. Dale from NBA Indie Review. Um, before watching this video, please take the time to like and subscribe. I take my time in um, making these videos and giving you guys good product reviews. So please just take the time to uh, like it. It would greatly help my channel, and I appreciate it. Thank you. Without further ado, let's get to the product review. Let's get to it. The Nama Cold Press Juicer. Well, the Nama J2 Cold Press Juicer. What can I say about it? Um, as many of you who've watched um, my previous videos know that I've I've reviewed a quite um, a few juicers. I'll leave a link in the description up above if you want to check that out. But um, I'm here to tell you, out of all those juicers, this one it just far surpasses the other ones, um, or at least uh, should I say the ones that I've used. Uh, right, I'm gonna I have the, the, the uh, hopper right here beside me. I, I have the uh, hopper that came with the um, Nama J2, and then I actually bought the bigger hopper. Because um, many of you guys know my uh, my juicing capacity, it actually went up. Um, the last time I spoke to you, I was doing about um, a gallon, a gallon and a half a week. Um, one of my buddies actually asked me to um, to to uh, make some juice for him. I would I would come into work and I would you know give um, some folks uh, some juice, and they actually liked it. He was like, "How much would you charge me to to, to juice um, for me?" So I was like, gave him a you know just told him, "Hey, give me you know whatever you think is fair." So um, every week when I juice, I juice for him as well. And so about once a week on Saturdays, as always, I do about two gallons of juice. I juice two gallons. And let me show you real quick the um, the two hoppers. This is the hopper that came with it. This is the hopper that I, I ordered. That I ordered um, is bigger. You can see right here. You can see right there. All oh, she's much bigger. Well, I'm, I'm actually glad it opened up. This is actually what I wanted to um, say that one of the things about the Nama J2 juicer versus other ones is the cutting blade. See this right here? See from right here as well. Even, even on the otter. Get that. I showed you that for a reason. One of the reasons why the Nama J2 juicer is far superior than other juicers that I've used is because it has two blades. They're, they're, they're plastic blades, but they're they they they're they're plastic, but they don't really feel plastic. But you know they're plastic. But uh, if you were to put your finger in there, which you know it's impossible because they have a um safety override once you open the top it, it'll cut off but i guess if you hold the button down you could but i wouldn't recommend it but if you were to put your finger in there it'll probably chop it off so i say that to say that i guess to kind of help relieve some of the, the the juicing pressure from the uh, from, from from the auger is that what it's called if that's not what it's called please somebody correct me in the comments <laughs> i believe it's called an otter it kind of cuts the fruit and this is the reason why you actually can, and I do. When I um when I when I when I juice, I usually juice apples whole. I just make sure I take the stickers off of off, off of them. I usually have a bowl, I soak it in vinegar, then I just put the apple in, in the juicer whole, and it, it it does the rest. You know, uh, my wife last week was her first time juicing for the family. Um, I usually juice for the family, but this juicer it's it's amazing. Um, it cuts down on the amount of time. You'll probably spend juicing if you're used to like other juicers. It's a lot less hands-on because um, you you could just put the fruits or vegetables in there and just walk off and do something. And then you know once it once it fills back up, you know you you know I stop it or if you open it or up or whatever. As far as the other container that, that fills up with juice, you just open it up. Um, so it, it'll stop. We could just cut it off manually, you know, with with the, the um, button. But you just pour it in, in, in your juice container and you put it back under the juicer. Close the lid to start it back up. If you or if you cut if you cut the button off, cut the button back on, and it'll start juicing. So it really gives you a lot of flexibility. If you're somebody that you know that when I usually juice on weekends, I'm usually doing other things as well. I'm not just doing juicing, I'm doing other things as well. So I'll give me an opportunity to juice, and also do other things in the kitchen, like cook 
a cook or if I have a chicken on some food or whatever, I, I can do that in between juice. I don't have to be there for the whole time of juicing and the juice. No. So I, I think I like the I like the Nama J2 because of that reason alone. You, you can throw some fruits and vegetables in there, go do other things, come back, oh, it's full, pour it out in the container, put it back on there, and go back to do whatever you were doing. If you've guys seen, you know, any of my previous videos, um, even the video that I, I did about the um, the Nama J2 when I first got it, I actually did an actual demo in my kitchen. Um, audio quality was terrible. Um, camera quality probably was terrible because I didn't have my lighting kit. I mentioned the other two uh, juices that I reviewed in the past, and I'll leave a link to it in the description. But it just, it, the, the Nama J2 just far surpassed those Amazon, Amazon juicers. And be truthful with you, no, I wouldn't have wanted to buy the Nama J2 only because of the price is a bit steep. Um, you know, I have a family, family of five, me and my wife and, and three children. So I wouldn't have wanted to spend five hundred dollars on a juicer. I'll, I'll be honest with you right there. And then I dropped another what ninety five dollars for the for the hopper, which I felt like Nama could have really given you a discount if you chose to, to buy the, the larger hopper when you bought the juicer. They really should give you a discount because it's like, well, you dropping. Sixty six hundred dollars for a juicer, and then you drop, drop. You know, I mean, if you if you if you um, consider the juicer and the hopper, you know, you drop like six hundred dollars. So it's like, wow, that's, that's a bit steep. But I say that to say that it's worth every penny. You know, if you're somebody that don't want to go out and get the the, uh, the, um, the bigger hopper, don't. That's, I mean, do you need it? No, you don't need it. I just wanted to be able to put more fruits and vegetables in there so I could you know have more time. To do things in the kitchen in between juicing, you know, it was, you know, versus the, the smaller hopper, you know, you, um, you know, you you, you could put less fruits and vegetables in there, so you gotta, you know, kind of come back a little sooner. So, but it's not really a big deal. It's not. I wouldn't go out and buy one. You, you don't need to. You can use the one that comes with it. It works just as, just, just as fine. I just wanted to, you know, um, be extra. I wanted to have the extra room, the time. You, you don't have to spend all your time juicing. It's very effective because of the the two blades that. I showed you earlier. It has the two blades, so it makes it, it, it makes juicing a lot more um, faster. And one of the things that, that I, I, I took a mental note of is that when I had the juicers from Amazon, sometimes when it, if I if it had if it had an apple, if it, if it had an apple, it would kind of just the apple would kind of just spin because it was kind of like trying to I guess force it down to to, to to crush. But because there was nothing to actually like, um, I guess if it was cutting it, it would have been it just fail right here. Because you know, if this is in a machine. And you got an apple right here. It's trying to it's trying to just crush the apple, and then like sometimes the apple would just spin, and that that got kind of annoying, you know. I, I, um, then you have to come through and use, you have to use this right here, and just you know kind of just press down, um, you know, because the apple would the apple would just spin, well, you know, the apple would just spin, and you have to kind of just force it down and press it down, and it would just go into the thing. But with the with the Nama, you know, with the Nama, I don't have to worry about that because. The apple's going to spin, but the but the blade's going to cut the apple, cut the apple. So while it's spinning, it's it's cutting it. I've I've tried um, different experiments, um, things that I tried with the last juicer, like with the last juicer I had on, from Amazon. And I'm sorry to keep ref keep referring to it, but that's the only point of reference that I've had. I haven't had any other juicers. Um, I've had another juicer that I, I put in the last video, but I'm talking about the corporate juicers. Yeah, the um, the last juicer I would put grapes in there like whole whole grapes in there and one well one the first time I did it the grapes vines got stuck in the actual otter so I had to it, it took me it, it was it was a mother lover trying to get it out I mean it was it was a mother lover trying to get it out I almost broke the juicer trying to get it out um with the one I bought from Amazon but with the with the um Nama because the blades chopped it just it um it chops the um it, it chops the grapes the grapevine so it's choppy and it juices the actual grapes so you can just well, but once it's done juicing you can just pull the um the actual grapevines out of the the juicer and it's it's a breeze so that's I mean I'm the kind of person when when I when I get something that this this expensive um you know they swear by their products I'm gonna test it. To the means, I'm going to test it to every means possible, possible because I have a warranty on it 10 years. So if it breaks, I just go get another one. So, but don't get me wrong, it wasn't my intention to break it, but I wanted just to see the the, the, the limitations of the juicer that I had previously because the Nama J2 
um, overcome those those you know um, limitations and with the grapes. Perfect, it did. Not a problem. You know, once it, like I said before, once it juices the grapes, the vines will still be in the bottom of the hopper. Um, cut up. You just gotta go in, get your hand in, take them out, and throw them in the trash, and boom, bada bing, bada boom. N- not a problem. Also, when I went up from juicing a gallon, a gallon and a half to two gallons, I was I was worried if it would juice, um, if the juicer would last. I was I was really worried because I'm like, this is a lot of juice, like two gallons, but it lasted. You know, it, it hadn't, it didn't slow down. Didn't keep a beat. It it just juiced it, you know. And like I said, the Nama J two, it's a very very superior juicer um, than, than the ones that I've owned. Um, I saw some of the other high price ones on online, but I think for me, the Nama price point was a bit high. But now that I have it and I've juiced with it, I'll say it's it, it's fair. The other ones, it's like it's just too expensive. I'm, I'm not paying that kind of money for for it. And the Nama J22, um, it's, right it's this right here. This is the only thing you'll struggle with cleaning, and really you, you won't because you get water because you know when, you know everybody who juiced before you know when you, when when, you, when you're, you're done juicing, you have all the juice kind of grains of things right here and inside of here. It come with a brush. You just run water and just scrub it out and then it, that's it. It's it. So it's it's not hard to assemble, you know. It's it's not really hard to assemble. My first time doing it, I got used to it. You know, the otter goes in here, boom, and you know, you right here and you just put it in there. I'm I'm sorry, no you don't. I lied. You don't put it in there. <laughs> you put it um in the juice strainer and right here the juice strainer has can you see that? It has a hole right there. And you line you line this up right here up. See the bottom of that? See that hole right there? And then you see the hole right here? You just line that up. Boom. And when I first got it, I, I didn't read the instructions. I, I didn't, I mean, you know, I didn't read the instructions, but common sense, because I, I looked at them like, well, because when I got done washing, I'm like, how you put this thing back together? And I was like, oh, uh, this is, has a hole, that has a hole. Oh, okay, it fits perfectly. I mean, it's kind of common sense, you know. I mean, just, just cause I know with some juices in the past, um, again, the ones off Amazon, the, they're best selling cold press juicers. I, I, dude, it just, I don't know, man. I don't know. It just, it, it just wasn't, I just... It took me a while. I, I said there. I'm probably sitting there one day for like five minutes trying to figure out five ten minutes how to figure out how to get the thing back into once I wash it. It's like, you know, now they, they just make things easier. And also, another thing, the other juices. This right here comes out. It comes out, so it makes it cleaning a lot easier. With the other ones, I'd have to get a freaking um, butter knife. Because this didn't open up, I had, to, I had to get a butter knife and kind of scrape this stuff out of it and, and spray water inside of inside of it, and um, get a butter knife and scrape it scrape it out. But with this one, because it just drops, you literally just get a you just spray, boom, it just falls out. So, Nama, I felt like whoever their engineering team that engineered this or who created this, they thought of every possible scenario that you would you would go through like the other cold press juicer i had it said it could juice fruits and vegetables whole and i, I juiced apples and carrots whole and, and, and it died on me so it no it couldn't juice fruits and vegetables whole the nama j2 i juice fruits and vegetables whole for the past four weeks apples carrots you know four weeks and i'll say Carrots are probably more so on the harder side to juice because with the other juicer after I saw it struggle to juice carrots, I kind of started chopping the carrots up because carrots are, are they're, they're, they're a hard vegetable, you know. But for the Nama J2, it crushes it like it's nothing, like, like it's dust, you know. Um, so, well, I guess it's, it's not dust because it's, 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 it's a carrot, pretty juicy. But you, my point is it, it crushes it with ease, you know. So, my, my, my again, my, my updated review of the Nama J2,
I know quite a few people were, you know, had had um, invest time in watching my my previous juicing videos, and I just wanted to give you guys an update. You know, uh, quite a few people had watched the um, my um, Nama J two when, when I first got it, and I juiced in my kitchen. You know, I, I appreciate that the, the support. A gentleman said he bought it, said he loves it. Hey, brother, I'm glad you love it, man. Um, I, I love mine too. I could tell anybody who wants to juice cold press juice to go out and get a juicer. I would say the Nama J2 is your best bet for the dollar. Um, it doesn't have any limitations. It even came with a um, is it, is it sorbet? It's it's sorbet or sherbet, but whatever. But basically, you can put it. It, it came with the, it came with two strainers. It came with a, a, a sorbet or I'll say sherbet. But basically, you can get frozen fruits and you can put them in the. You can put them. Um, it has the same kind of strainer, but it's not. It, it looks the same, but it's not the same. But it, but it come. Th what I have in it right now, this is the juicing strainer. But it also has another. It has it has the sorbet strainer, and basically you put frozen fruits and or vegetables. But I'll stick to the fruits in my house. <laughs> but you can put you can put frozen fruits in there, and it'll it'll um come out like a, a like a ice cream or or a sherbet. Well, not ice cream, like a sherbet or a sorbet. Because I I, I believe sorbet refers to um fruit ice creamish i believe i could be wrong somebody could read me in the comments but 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 my point is th they considered everything you know because chances are if you're juicing you're you're more on the healthier side like you're not juicing juice and then going to buy eat trash food um you know for your everyday meals i'm not saying you're not gonna go out and get a pizza or a burger once or twice once or um you know once or twice um, every few weeks, but for the most part, you're eating pretty healthy. So I think that was a that was a beautiful addition. It was free for them to give you. Me personally, I would have just preferred the the larger hopper <laughs> over the of the uh, sorbet um, trainer. But um, yeah, it's it's phenomenal juicer. I haven't tried the sorbet strainer yet. I usually just buy sherbet ice cream. So I don't I don't know. Maybe maybe my wife will because she's more. On the um, I want to make everything myself, like soap and um, a pizza dough. She just always kind of like, I want to make it myself. She's talking about making almond milk. I'm like, well, uh, okay, you know, cool. <laughs> you know, it better taste the same as a store bought. But uh, my, my wife is more um, I can see her more so using it than I would because I usually just buy sorbet or, or sherbet in the store, so I'm not going to use this strainer. Maybe I will. I don't know. The, my my review, my review to conclude this video, my review of the Nama J2 juicer is it is phenomenal it it, it it is more watching the youtube video watching the different youtube videos on it can't even put it into like real life perspectives of how wonderful this this juicer is like it's wonderful like i love it, it, it it's something that if if i had it for a year and they didn't have the warranty and it broke i'd probably buy it again that, that's how good it is you know but it does come with the um a 10-year warranty they replace if you kind of break or replace any parts, you know, just you kind of got to kind of email the support team, let them know, you know, I'm, I'm guessing send my picture. I don't, I don't know, but that probably will help. And then they'll send you the, um, send you in another, um, part, whatever it is, so the number reducer, um, for free within 10 years. So that, that alone makes it worth the purchase. Um, Dale from me in reviews, the Nama J2 juicer, if you don't have one, Go get one. I'm not sponsored by Nama. They didn't give me a discount to get this juicer. But I will say that you can actually, I did it um, right before I was about to um, click the checkout. Google the Nama J2 coupons. You'll find a bunch of coupons, um, different websites. And I actually, I mean, it can't hurt. I just put them in and it actually worked. Like one of them, I got like 50, 50 bucks off. Uh, the Nama J2 juicers. So I got like 50 bucks off the, the juicer. So they do have those um websites on Google. If you Google the Nama J2 coupons, they'll pop up and you just copy and paste them before you check out in the coupon line. It'll say 50 bucks or 40 bucks off. That's what I did. So if you do, if you do buy it, even if you um, finance it from them, I would still say before you do that, go to Google because YouTubers have a coupon. Um, I mean, I'm sorry, a discount, but I don't think any, any of them had a discount like 40, 50 bucks off. And that's just because I, I Googled Nama J2 juicer coupon and some generic website came up and you just 
it has a list of different coupons. You just copy paste, and if it work, it work. It don't, don't. But for me, it worked. So hey, I saved fifty bucks on the Nama on J Two Juicer. So yes, I would purchase it, even if you're somebody. I know a lot of people, you know, have you know have, you know, um, might not have financially have five hundred dollars to give to with the juicer. So they do offer you to finance it from their website if you want to finance it from them and just make payments. That's probably a, a better option for a lot of people out there. Even if you have the money, you know, that's probably a better option than putting out five hundred dollars, you know, in, um, in one in one sitting. But um, I'm 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 just, um, in between. The, uh, my just review um, and me and my kids juicing with the Nama J2 but um, thank you guys for watching my videos thank you for the support please hit the like button it definitely helps my channel I'm just a regular guy I don't get paid for these reviews review good product um, I don't get paid from these companies you know I just I just enjoy buying things and seeing how, how it works and if it works and if it does work I leave a review if it's good or bad and go from there you know so until next time Dale from any, any reviews. Peace.